Hello, welcome to this episode of Let's Rap. So today we are talking about a testimony and why that's important. But before I even say anything else, I want to introduce my sister, my blood sister. I got so many sisters, but this is my blood sister. She's a lot older than me. No, I'm joking. She's a year older than me, but this is Latanya Carr. And we have her with us today. And one of my faithful co-hosts is Lisa Crutcher Thurman. We appreciate you being here always, a small baby. And uh, we want to send a special shout out to Ebony Ingram Jones, who is taking her test and writing a paper. So she couldn't be with us today. So we're going to push on. But Ebony, wish you the best of luck. Do well on your paper. So today, let's jump right in. So a testimony. Why is it important? Um, let's wrap. So I asked you all definitely. Well, you were always going to be here anyway. But I asked you to come because today's topic is talking about a testimony. And as Christians, we know that one of the biggest witnessing that we do is a testimony that's true because we know we all have tests and without a test you know there there's no testimony without a test so we have to have tests but it's no sense to taking a test especially with christ if we're not going to tell about the goodness and how god brought us out of it so it's just hilarious that this has happened like this because lisa has definitely been through a near-death experience god healed her I myself have been through one and God yes. healed me. Thank you, Lord. Tanya has been through one recently and God has continued to heal her. Thank you, so Lord. So you're looking at three miracles and three different testimonies, but all the same. So um, why do you think sharing your testimony is important to you, Lisa? Because it's not about me. It's about God using me Absolutely. and to bear witness of his goodness through it all. Absolutely. But Tanya, what do you, what do you think? It's, it's definitely to help others. And I, I said that from the very beginning. I never was like, why me? It was more so, why not me? Um, and that way I can definitely help someone who was maybe discouraged that were just so totally torn down by whatever diagnosis they may have gotten. And if I can at least help them, and that's, that's the battle right there, absolutely. absolutely. Cool, cool. So let's go to the work. Acts 13 and 15 says, after the reading from the law and the prophets, the leader of the synagogue sent word to them saying, brothers, if you have a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So that's basically saying, if you got something that's going to bless the people, yes, yes. speak about it. Yes. And um, I just know of God's goodness and I know of God's mercy and his grace. But if I don't tell anybody else, right, right. it's like keep it to yourself. It's pointless. It Absolutely. is. And so what we go through, like nine times out of ten, just like you said, is not even for us. It's like my situation that happened to me in 2012 helped me to help you understand that you was going to be all right in 2021. That's right. That God was going to bless you through this situation. Yes. But again, there is no testimony without a test. So, um, so we have to remember that, number one, everyone's story is unique. Yes. So in your situation how when you was going through what was your feeling what was your thought did you think you would make it through it what what was your yeah. thought with that well i knew i don't know if y'all remember but i knew something was going to happen and i just flippantly kind of talking to george howard and i was saying oh i'm going to be sick i'm going to be real real sick but i am going to get better and I didn't think any more about it because I I knew it was going to happen. Well, George had went up before the church. This is way back when, and he asked for prayer. And he said, because there's a young lady, and he started, I'm thinking, oh, God bless her. And then he turned around and said, I was in the choir stand. He said, so Lisa, will you go? I was like, me? (laughs) And, but I did. I knew I was, it was going to happen. Right. And because God, I guess, was getting me ready, but. And through it all, I knew that there was a reason for it. And I didn't know at the time exactly what it was, but so many blessings came out of it. And how he helped grow me up. And things I would didn't think I was capable of doing or to put myself out there to actually, because my sister had me come and speak at her church when I was out of town. All them people, I didn't know a soul. And so it took me out of my comfort zone a little bit, you know, so. I just know that it's not about me. Absolutely. It's, he's no. using me to bless somebody else. And one of the things you were saying, I can't, I gotta find the scripture, it's not coming to me right now, but if your words can help put us, 
uh, man, a stumbling man back, yeah, on, his back on his feet. Yeah. That's one. So that's why I have really just made it my business to encourage people and to let them know you can get through it. Spend and because they do call me back at the Brain Injury Association of Kentucky to speak to brain injured people to let them know. Look, I've been where you are, and what helped me was a lot of prayer, and I had support of the family and friends. As friends, we'll get you know that because they didn't, Absolutely. y'all didn't let me look, y'all didn't let me miss anything. Absolutely. No, because I couldn't drive it, take the driver's evaluation over and everything, but you come pick me up and family. So we have to do that for each other, and that really made me now want to do it even more just because of what was how it helped me. So, Tanya, your situation is a little different because you did something to me that was really brave. So you went through breast cancer and you made it public. Yes, she so did. So what was, how did that make you feel? How did they to constantly post and put the, and like go through your story, your journey and share that with everybody? How did that make you feel? Um, it, it made me feel really good that I can, number one, help others. I encourage people really when they felt like they should have been encouraging me. Mm-hmm. And uh, a true. lot of people were like, oh my God, I, I, I was thinking I had a hard day today and I saw your post and I was just like, if she can make it, I can definitely Absolutely. make it. So just kind of piggybacking on what Lisa said about, um, it's not about you, Purpose Driven Life, that's the first line of that book. Mm-hmm. It's not about you. Absolutely. And that's one of the things that really pushed me through this whole thing. Mm-hmm. I knew this was not about me. This was just, I was just using this. It's what well, God was using me to try to help someone else to get through their situation. I don't even know who it is. It don't even matter. But it's just, I'm doing what I, I think he wants me to do. So it, it's definitely putting it out there. I, I remember us taking those pictures and he was like, do you want me to post them? And I was like, absolutely. And it was right after my double mastectomy. And I was like, yes, post them. Mm-hmm. We're going to post them and post them below my waist. Let, mm-hmm. let people see that I'm still smiling through all of this. I'm still smiling. Absolutely. And it's all about mindset. You it's know? true. You, you got to have a right kind of mindset when you're, you're tackling something like this or just any, just through every day. Everyday mm-hmm. living Absolutely. sometimes can be rough. But then add on a, a diagnosis on, or yeah. a situation. So you have to definitely have a, a, a certain kind of mindset and it has to be positive. And it's, it reminds me of what we used, they used to say on the radio. If you can't change the people around you, change, change the, the people, people around you. You, mm-hmm. you got to have, you man, Absolutely. you, you have right. to have people positive. Yeah. You make those decisions, but you are in control. Exactly. You know, and that's what a lot of people don't, they feel like they're not in control. Yes, you might not have control of the diagnosis, but you got control of how you deal with it. Absolutely. It's, it's true. So one thing that it, I, I was reading online, and it says, why stories, uh, why telling your story matters. Stories make us human. They allow us to connect with the world and with ourselves, bringing meaning to our lives. Our brains are weird to respond to stories. Metaphors and anecdotes help us to relate to ideals, to our own experiences, providing richness and texture. So it's what, like Jesus, when he talked, he talked through parables. He yes, talked he through did. stories. Because it's a story can you can remember a story. You relate to You can to relate it also. to a story. Uh-huh. And the story makes sense. Just kinda of like people talk with songs uh-huh. and how sometimes you can reach a song can reach you quicker than maybe the message sometimes. Oh, because yeah. it's something about that song, it's something about music that's mm-hmm. common to your spirit. You can relate. Uh, you know, uh Catchy too. Light bill do, you know, and all right, <laughs> right. Telephone disconnect, you can your next paycheck. Mm-hmm. You're thinking about that because you might have been in a similar situation where you've had more month than yeah. money. Mm-hmm. And so you can relate to that. But a testimony and whether it be in a song, in a statement and whatever, but what we're selling, number one, is Jesus. That's and it. then I, second, we're selling yes. hope. Because yes. even though you're saved, it's yes. still some time when we feel hopelessness. Absolutely. It's still some time when we feel like in despair. It's still some time when we look around and we're like, what is going on? Right, right. This cannot be it. But something about a testimony that comes through when somebody tells you Come that on. I've had a double mastectomy, that I'm still smiling. I don't know what the end result is going to be, but I trust God now, with my life. 
There you and go. it's just something about that that changes you and that gives somebody else hope that might be dealing with something that may not even be as serious as that. But mm-hmm. they look, oh my God, she's a she's Christian. Right. She believes in God. She's okay. She's okay mm-hmm. with this. And even if you're not on the inside, you have to trust. You. Now, Kevin James said you got to act your way into a yes. Fake it till you make it. That's what you have to do. Now, you have to believe that God will do now, what he said he would do. Yes. That he would never leave you nor forsake you. And as a Jason Claiborne song, it will get better. That's it. I just wish that I thought like in the psychiatric ward and different things, just wherever people are in their lives, hold on. Yeah. It will get better. Hold on. And when things are going wrong and it just seems like you're in despair and it just don't, it won't stop, man, Todd, not in that thing. Now, hold on. Hold you on. have to hold on and you have to trust God. I remember in 2012 and I remember going to the hospital so many times and I remember yeah. being so sick. And I remember that one time when they clipped my lungs and I was bleeding internally. Yeah. Yes. And I was in the hospital and I remember jumping up and saying, I cannot breathe. And mm-hmm. at that moment, I didn't know what the end result was going to mm-hmm. be, but I knew God had me, whatever right. way it happened. And, you know, when there was blood was just coming out, I mean, it was just spitting up blood. Yes. I just couldn't yeah, stop yeah. it. And um, I just didn't wow. know. And I remember you held my hand in the mm-hmm. hospital bed and they put the tube down. I was like, you can't put me to sleep. He was like, no, nope. we ain't got time. Wow. So they put the tube and the blood was just coming wow. out, coming out. And then, you know, I had the procedure and um, they had to put me in a... Um, uh, drug and induced coma because I, I was that. fighting and uh, just to see you know the difference from now to then and the pictures that me and Lisa right. took yeah. and then it just constantly I keep it in my phone because it constantly reminds me of where God has brought me from Absolutely. so like even when I have a bad day now mm-hmm. and I think about it, it still was not as bad as that yeah and God is still good yes he so, is so uh, that's Absolutely. why testimonies are definitely important another reason why testimonies are important um God's word tells us to share our hope as mm-hmm. a believer. So we're giving hope to other people. Then another reason is people love to hear stories, both believers and unbelievers. Mm-hmm. So it's just something about telling of the good news of Jesus. You can think about it in the Bible days mm-hmm. when the, the, the disciples went out and told of the good news. That's a great commission. Go Absolutely. and tell right. the good news and you know, baptize in all generations. It's, it's, that's the word. Okay. So when we talk, it's somebody's always listening. That's true. So somebody's listening to what you're saying. And then it, it's just like when you're at work, different things like that. People are always watching your posture. They're always watching how you speak. When mm-hmm. people see us on uh, online, when we're in St. Stephen's, people call me Mr. St. Stephen's. Mm-hmm. Okay, that may sound like a term of endearment, but you think about it, people are watching you. They're That's watching true. how you respond to them. Mm-hmm. And not only am I representing Christ, but I'm representing my church. I represent my pastor. Right. You know right. what he's teaching you. So a testimony is so many things. It, it is. It comes with so mm-hmm. many things. And I think a lot of times we don't think about how important our witness is. And that's part of our testimony is our witness. Um, so another one, it removes fear and gives courage. So you think about a story you heard or something and you read a scripture and it's, it just fits your situation to a T. And you'd be like, you know what? I can't make it. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. For we know all things work together for the good of those who love him yes, and who are called yes. according to his purpose. So it's the word. It's the word. It's stories. It's situations. It's something that you heard somebody say. Or you heard pastor preach or maybe another guest preacher yes. preach. It's always something that we can lean on to hold on to the word of God to give us hope to keep going, to move on. So it's important that we tell our story. It's important that we don't take our situation, our circumstances for granted. Uh-huh. We need to talk and tell what, what God has done for us. Yes. Another one is uh, unbelievers will have a hard time disputing what you say in your story. So you know how sometimes people dispute what you say mm-hmm. in the word. They don't uh, believe miracles. They don't believe this. Naysayers. They don't believe that. Naysayers. But nobody can refute the fact that you lost both your breasts mm-hmm. due to cancer. They can't refute the fact of the chemo and the stuff you went through. Nobody can refute the fact of your brain injury uh, for your shunt and mm-hmm. everything that happened with you with that and just the trauma that you faced yes, and the yes. stuff you couldn't remember right. and not being yourself anymore. Nobody can refute how you went through that step by step. Nobody can tell me right. that almost in death. Nobody can, so they can refute anything they want right. to say about any other story, but nobody can dispute what you went through and how mm-hmm. you know God brought you out of it. So those are facts. Facts. facts for you. So that's why it's important for you to continue to tell your story. What are your thoughts about that? It 
it makes me want to tell it even more. Absolutely. And then uh, I definitely want to go more so to the non-believers. So then maybe we can get them over and they'll, they'll see Christ for what he is. Um, that, that's been one of my biggest things is just getting the word out. Just, just letting everybody know, hey, I made it. You Absolutely. can make it. Mm -hmm. It don't matter what your situation is. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what what you're going through. You can make it. And if I can make it, you definitely can. Absolutely. I am an example. Mm -hmm. So if you have no other example, look and see what I did in 2021 with the help of Jesus. That's, That's right. That's it. What about you? Lisa? I agree. I agree. And it. I think we go to the unbelievers, but we gotta stay surrounded also by believers because they will keep you encouraged because yes. Satan will try to That's get true. in there and think because I'm I thank God every day uh, that I am able to remember some things I was with my uh, siblings yesterday and they went way back I was rattling off names like oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> you remember that because I usually don't but it's um Sometimes I do, and I'm so thankful. And like I said, that is a witness right there to the people but there that were at the party and stuff that don't, weren't there when I went through my whole right. issues and stuff with the memory and the surgeries and the, all that. So they say, like, understand that, yeah, you came through all that? Yes, I did. Nobody but God. Nobody but God brought me through. Absolutely. It's just, and then another one is it creates transparency within the church. So when what that means to me is I remember being sick and I remember coming to church. I was so little. I was getting down 145 pounds. Very and I remember on the walker and I came to church and, and I remember mama said, you sure you want to go to church? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. And I remember even Terrence said, uh, man, you sure? And I was like, yeah. I mean, because number one, I knew I felt in my heart that I was going to get better. Oh, yeah. Whether it was on this side or whether God was going to take me and heal me on the other side. But I just, I had to press my way to church. And I felt like the, the one with the issue of blood, I pressed my way. And I remember going to the altar. And I remember the time Rev even had me come on the stage with him. Mm -hmm. And he told me, take a step, you know. And, it's, and he said, just like you take that step, God will continue to take the rest yes, of he will. for you. And he did that. Yes, he will. And now I don't look like I've been through nothing. But okay. <laughs> we all know what happened. Um, Absolutely. But I just say that because it, it definitely creates transparency in the, ter in the church. And it is important that you live what you speak about. And so when mm -hmm. I told God that if he healed me, that I would tell my story every chance I got. So here we are years later, but I'm still talking about it like yes, it happened are. yesterday because it's still the same blessing. Because he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And he's yes. still God. He's still good. And he's still blessing. And he's still keeping. So as long as I have now. breath in my body, now. I'm yes. going to continue to tell of the goodness of Jesus and tell what he's done for me, what he's done for you, and what he's done for you. Yes. So we continue to witness to everybody that we can and continue to tell our story. And I promise them, if he let me live, now. that I will continue to tell my story to everybody that I could. So uh, we thank God for the test because without the test, there would be no testimony. Um, and then the last point that I had on here was if it glorifies God. And that's what it's about. It's not about me. I didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing, mm -hmm. and you didn't do nothing. It's God saw yes, fit yes. to bless us. You know, we had so many people that we've lost in the last year and a half with COVID that didn't make it. Right. And sometimes you wonder, why me, God? Because right. he still has work for us to do. Absolutely. And as long as we have work to do, and the work could be to just tell of what he brought us through. We don't know, but all we have to do is continue to trust and believe that God is who he is, and God will continue to be who he said he is oh, yes. to us. Um, so as we continue to talk through this, you know, what, what are some of your thoughts? What are some of your thoughts about your, what, what is something about your story that sticks out? That you have this audience that you want to just tell? Um, I, I think number one is surround yourself with wonderful people. Um, I was very blessed um, from the very beginning, of course, my family ridiculous right um, um with saying. support <laughs> <laughs> but um i've had some great friends i mean lisa she has uh came over and and done different things for me helped me put my groceries up one time yes. when i went to the grocery store helped me walk through the grocery store when i couldn't drive um it's, it's just little things but surround yourself with great people 
And a lot of times you might not even know that they're great until the, the time they arrives. And that's the thing, because I was, I remember telling Derek, I said, you know, I, my circle is kind of small. And I was like, I don't think too many people really like me like it. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Tanya, but people remember how you made them feel mm -hmm. when you talk that's to them. It. And I, I speak life to everybody. I don't, you know, yes. I ain't got no time for all that mess, but mm -hmm. I try to speak life to everybody, no matter what their situation is. You can do whatever you're doing, you can do it. I laugh, I try to make everybody laugh, because life is too short. Laughter is definitely healing. Yes, it is. Um, so just definitely keeping positive things like just what I fed myself during this whole situation. I didn't, I was gospel music. Um, right. I was watching Hallmark Christmas movies. <laughs> it was all about anything right. positive, you know, surrounding yourself with that. It's people, the things that you in, in uh, you digest. I mean, it was just exactly. so much. Everything is in your surroundings. You have control over it. You change that to make your situation better. Right. And yes, you were dealing with like, things that a lot of times it's out of our hands but God will definitely put some people in your life because I had wonderful doctors I had yes. a wonderful support system with my sorority sisters my family my best friends I mean I, I couldn't have asked yeah. yeah oh my mate and Shalene was Aunt awesome yeah and Shalene was awesome and she's still coming to pick me up to take me to my surgery that I have to have Monday so I mean she it's, it's just that God just puts these people in these yes, places for you and he thinks about it. He already had it already lined out. Mm -hmm. And that's, we don't have think, that understanding. Think. We just don't know. We, right. and, and I mean, then you just sit back and be like, did he really do? Right. Oh, he's good. You just he's, can't, you, you can't even, I can't express even I'm better than chill. that, that he's just oh, so good. Right, right. Just because how he just strategically, it's, it's better than chess. He yes, just right. strategically places people and things it. where yes, they need yes. to be. I mean, he's just, it's just awesome. I mean, it's its overwhelming. It, I had right. times where I'm Humbly. like, I can't believe. Right. But then you like, okay, God, what you want me to do? And sometimes you just got to stop and listen. Absolutely. You know? And I think that's our problem. We don't, we don't listen a lot. Yeah. We we want to hurry up and, and wait. <laughs> right. <laughs> we don't want to, we want to listen. Lisa, what is your what what did you want to say about um when you went through your thing? What 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 is something you want to say to somebody else who might be going through something right now? Well what helped me, um, a couple of lessons I've learned. One, you don't know what anybody's going through. Because I said people don't always say what's going on and stuff, and a kind word will go so far. And instead of um gossiping and stuff, right. I Tell, I think God loves me the most because he did this. And I go through, and my, <laughs> one of my girlfriends, Annie, her husband, um, she, he and I, but uh-uh, because you don't know what God did for me. And so just keep praising him, lifting him up. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. and like saying that what you listen to, the people you, you got to stay positive yeah. and be encouraging to others also. Absolutely. So what? I, I know with mine, I just, I, so many people were so good, so many people in the church. I mean, I'm almost refused to name anybody because I don't want to omit right. anybody because it was so good. And just the choir, just my extended family through the church and just how good people are to you. So that's why you never take a friendship for granted. Don't never take it. people for granted. Absolutely. Never take anyone for granted because God is a blessing through so many people and he has blessed us. So number one, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep hope. Yes. Believe and know that Christ is who He says He yes. is. And when you're looking at three miracles in front of you, three miracles Absolutely. that have yes. witnessed three different things at three different times, but God still shows Himself faithful. He did. And He continues to show Himself faithful. Through it all. So keep the faith. Remember that every test you go through, there is a testimony. Yes. And don't be afraid to share your story. Yes. Thank you so much for time for joining you. us today. Thank We're glad to have you. Me. We probably will have you back. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. You. After everything's and, done. Yes. <laughs> right, because right. so you have to come back and tell us everything yes. that happened to it. And Lisa, always. Always, you know, yes. Thank you. And, uh, so we're going to end with a word of prayer and we thank God for this opportunity to this platform to preach. And we thank our pastor for thank just you. being so God good to us. And we are all ministers of the word. We just minister in different ways. So let us pray. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank, thank you, God, God, that every test that we go through is an opportunity to share a testimony. God, if we make it through the situation, God, we know that your goodness is all over it because every good and perfect gift comes from you, God. 
We thank you and we praise you for being God all by yourself. I ask that you to continue to bless these ladies beside me, God. Continue to strengthen everything they do. And as Latanya get ready to go into for her last procedure, that you will be the doctors, God. That you will heal them. Give them a healing hand as they touch her and do what they need to do in this procedure. And that everything be more than better and well, God. We thank you and we praise you. you. Anyone listening to this. Hopefully it was something that was said that had blessed them, that if they feel like they are hopeless and they are in despair and something's not working for them, that we have given them another chance to look to you, God, to look to you for all their situations, that you will bring them through that situation. We thank you in the name of Jesus for being God all by yourself. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. God, you blessed us to make it through. In Christ Jesus' name, we'll be forever careful to give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise that you are more than do. Amen. Amen. We thank you for watching Let's Wrap. We appreciate you being here. And uh, join us next week. And we're out.